Hi guys, this is Nathan Chandra. In this video, I'll show you how to create CSS image sprites. An image sprite is a collection of images put into a single image. A web page with many images can take long time to load and generates multiple server requests. Using image sprites will reduce the number of server requests and save the bandwidth. This is how like uh, many of the many of the company this is one of the uh, web, web optimization techniques so where uh, many of the companies use this for uh, bring, bringing down the page load of the website like maybe like uh, google google creates a uh, so css sprites of all its icons and uh, uh, and icons and images put into one big image you can see here this is one big image you can see here Similarly, Facebook also has a uh, image image sprites where it has all uh, notifications, online button, and everything put into one big image. Let's create. Let's see how to create this image sprites and how to use this image sprites in your website. I've already created a, a HTML page uh, with uh, HTML5 doc type, and I've linked up some custom .css, uh, uh, custom .css to my HTML page. Uh, here I'll be. Uh, I've already have a image sprite over here. This is my image sprite, which I'll be demoing on a uh, demo. Uh, I'll give a demo on this. Okay, uh, let's start with this. I'll be adding the image sprite to uh, image sprite to my HTML web page using CSS background image. I'll just say icon home background image. I'll browse it. I'll be adding my image sprite to a uh, background image. I'll make not to repeat this image background repeat no repeat okay so uh, how do we navigate to home but home icon only there are multiple icons over here home next and previous uh, how do I navigate to only the home home image let's say like we'll see the properties of this image this is having a height of uh, 44 pixels and uh, I'll just keep a height of 44 pixels height 44 pixels let's call this uh, class over HTML page class icon home I'll end this we'll preview this in browser now you can see the whole image has come but I need only the home home image need to be there but not not the an extent previous images uh, this can be done. Uh, the whole big image can be segregated into individual images by uh, by creating by adding uh, background position to your uh, CSS. We'll say background position. Um, for me, x-axis is uh, zero pixels and y-axis is zero pixels for this uh, home 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 image. Uh, but the width should be about like uh, I want uh, maybe. A, Maybe the width of this image is so 45 pixels or something. I'll just add 45 pixels. 45 pixels. Okay. We can right now we can comment this out. Okay. Okay. Uh, since uh, we, we are not using any background position over here because uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, default uh, default position like zero and zero pixels horizontally zero and vertically zero, and I just gave a width for uh, width for this image and uh, it uh, the home button is here. But next thing is like well, we need we we need uh, uh, the back button need to be there. Uh, uh, the where we'll be using the background position elements over there. I'll just create another another div. I'll say this is previous icon previous and I'll copy this paste and change this to previous 
I'll save this for now I've added a background image or uh, a background sprite image and uh, have uh, not repeated the image and high height is 44 pixels and width is 45 pixels now we need to navigate to the previous icon over here but uh, there, there is uh, previously there is one home 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 image but we need to navigate to the previous icon uh, this can be done using background position I'll just say background position sorry okay um the background position is uh, like uh, it's a horizontal this one is vertical and this is horizontal x-axis and y-axis so we need to move along x-axis i'll be moving like minus 40 pixels 40 pixels on the, along the x-axis and we'll see what is the output for this preview this in chrome but uh, the whole it is having it is also having a home image icon uh, so we need to move a little bit more i'll be moving okay 43 pixels let's say it is refresh the page a little more 45 pixels yeah right so we got our previous icon over here but uh, we also have uh, uh, kind of border over here but we need to remove which can be removed by reducing the width of the image I'll just say width of the image should be 43 pixels oops uh, we'll move let remove 47 yeah that's right so we got a previous icon similarly we can uh, we can we can add a next icon over next icon also I'll just copy paste the same code but this time I'll be moving a little more uh, since uh, we need a next we need a uh, next icon need to be uh, present uh, for this is like around the 90 pixels uh, so I'll be moving the background position to 90 pixels 90 I'll save this we'll call this class over here I'll say next okay okay so uh, we got a next icon over here one second Oops. so we need to change the next here next okay yeah so we got next icon also here uh, so but little border is still visible we'll remove that border by removing uh, by moving little bo little more I'll just say x axis 91 pixels I'll save this yeah that's right so uh, this is how we can use the C uh, CSS image sprites uh, th this is one of the use very useful web optimization techniques and also uh, uh, for this example like I can I can show another example where you can make use of uh, CSS image sprites um, this uh, this image is created using CSS image sprites like you can when you hover on it if there is a hover state for your uh, uh, for, for your image you can uh, make use of CSS sprites like wherein the uh, the two images are present in one big image I can show you uh, see uh, two big images are uh, present in one big image and uh, I'm changing the state of the image uh, uh, when I hover this one uh, can change you can see the code I've added a background image uh, with uh, no repeat and uh, position to zero zero for uh, for preview for the hover state I am changing the position of the uh, image by uh, x-axis is zero and y-axis since the image uh, I need to change the image uh, y-axis because the, the two images are uh, stacked one by one uh, so I'll be changing the position of the y-axis to 321 uh, so that when when I hover the cursor on the image the, the image position will change and the different uh, different image will be the hover state image will be shown to uh, show to, to the user um, thanks guys uh, thanks for watching this is uh, Nitin Chandra to know more about me uh, visit www.nitinchandrasat.com uh, thank you